For hundreds of years, humans stared into the night sky, asking deep questions about our place in the grand cosmic design. We drew patterns on paper, formed ideas with chalk, and believed we were on the edge of understanding reality. But one telescope, a giant mirror drifting in the vacuum of space, has changed everything we thought we knew. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just capture stars, it found impossible things written across the fabric of the universe. What it saw first were galaxies, but not just any, they were too large, too old, too perfect, and they shouldn't be in the cosmic backdrop at all. We were told galaxies needed billions of years to form in the dust of ancient stars, but these appeared just 180 million years after the Big Bang. That's not just early, that's impossibly early, a moment where even basic matter should have still been glowing gas in empty void. They looked like the Milky Way, smooth spirals, firm centers, and a size that should take epochs to form in the celestial landscape. Physicists now whisper, if these are real, then our most sacred belief about the birth of the universe may be flawed. The Big Bang model, once untouchable, might now be on the verge of collapse inside the stellar picture we trusted. It's as if there was something before the beginning, a missing history of time hiding behind the backdrop of infinity. One of the strangest places Webb looked was a galaxy cluster named Isle 2744, and there it saw light forming perfect patterns. Instead of chaos and dust, it found alignments so precise that they looked carved into the very space of the galactic frame. In another view, the spiral galaxy NGC 1365 showed motion that refused to follow any known gravitational logic in the cosmic dance. It spun wrong, moved against models, and suggested that forces unseen are pulling galaxies across the astral expanse. One anomaly might be a mistake. Two are coincidence, but dozens. Across billions of light years. It's a pattern emerging from the universal painting. The longer Webb stared into darkness, the more the cosmos looked less like chaos and more like something designed in the silence of deep space. Then came HIP 65426b, a distant world, glowing like a lonely ember in the shadows of a solar drama. It's seven times the size of Jupiter, way out in its system, and its age defies explanation in the calm of the planetary canvas. Planets this big shouldn't form this fast around stars this young, especially when the space around it is a clear vacuum. No dust. No debris. No trail of birth. Just a giant planet orbiting peacefully as if it was placed there in the cosmic tableau. And that raises a dangerous question, what if it didn't form here at all? What if it's a relic from before, drifting across solar horizons? Something built it or moved it or saved it from a dying star, now shining softly in a place it doesn't belong in the celestial theater. Far away, in the direction of Galaxy J418, Webb captured a light that bent around a shape, a phenomenon known as an Einstein ring. Light, curved like water around stone, shaped into a perfect circle, undisturbed, floating in the star-filled curtain. This wasn't just lensing, it was symmetry beyond random, an exactness that makes physicists tremble in the face of cosmic geometry. Two galaxies, one behind the other, aligned so exactly that their light painted a luminescent halo across the black vastness. Mathematically, this shouldn't happen unless something or someone ensured the balance in the universal stage was flawless. One expert even asked, is this proof of hidden geometry, a hidden language of space-time carved into the dark tapestry? And that brings us to the structure most mysterious, an invisible weight bending light in a place where nothing visible exists. No stars. No galaxies. No heat. But light curves there, disturbed, as if pulled by a shadow of mass inside the interstellar void. It behaves too precisely to be gas or diffuse dark matter, it feels like an object, 
something solid yet unseen resting in the warped dimension. A gravitational echo of something ancient, or artificial, left in the dark to bend the universe around its silent shape in space. Could this be dark matter shaped by time? Or something built, a relic machine parked in the void of cosmic darkness? And then came the signal, not from stars or galaxies, but from the voids between them, empty but not silent. A pattern of pulses, faint and cold, arriving at intervals too perfect to be natural vibrations across the universe's skin. It was so precise that many assumed a glitch. But tests ran again. And again. And always, the rhythm returned from the dark sky. No stars around. No sources found. No explanation. Just a measured flash, as if timed to catch an eye peeking from the stellar veil. Was it a message? Not meant to be read, but meant to be noticed, calling out into the galactic blanket like a beacon. Some fear it's nothing. Others fear it's something, a sign of intelligence echoing across the cosmic wind of silence. Then came the web-like filament, a thread stretching over a billion light years, aligning galaxies like beads on a string. It wasn't just random structure, it looked engineered, a framework, dense and even, weaving galaxies into the cinematic background. Every galaxy along it follows the same direction. Voids line up beside them. Red shift patterns form waves across the invisible map. Some claim this is natural, the universe forming from gravity and time, but others see fingerprints, the touch of ordered hands. What if it's a blueprint? A grid meant to hold the shape of the universe together in the vacuum of star-dusted night. And deep inside this grid, Webb saw echoes, not sound, but shapes repeating across billions of light years in the quiet of galaxy fields. It seemed like some galaxy clusters remembered others, copies of structure, placed like echoes in time beneath the constellation sea. Could this be dark matter holding memory? Could it store ancient maps, and shape new ones, based on what the cosmos once was? If so, then dark matter isn't just mass. It's the library of the universe, shaping the future from behind the curtain of stellar stillness. These thoughts blur lines, between science and poetry, between gravity and memory, in the mirror of the nighttime glow. And yet the most haunting truth is what Webb found last, the silent signal that won't go away from the edge of a lightless region. It pulses without origin. It flashes without energy. It waits without purpose in the galaxy's forgotten corner. What if it's a test? Not of technology, but of awareness, a sign to prove we're looking in the star-veined mirror of existence. What if all these alignments, signals, structures, echoes, and lenses are the clues, to a universal language beneath the celestial scroll? Some scientists now ask openly, is this not just evidence of age, but of architecture in the whispers of eternal space? Are we seeing the work of hands, not just forces, shaping what we thought was formless across the nightmare vastness? Galaxies that should not exist, yet spin. Planets that cannot form, yet shine. Voids that should be empty, yet speak in the quiet of the starless backdrop. The James Webb Space Telescope was meant to show the past. But what if it has shown us the deliberate design of everything in the astral canvas? If that's true, then we are not alone. We never were. Not in matter, not in mind, not in the stellar vision of creation. Every photo may be a message. Every structure, a sentence. Every ripple, a signature in the ink of dark energy. Now we must ask, have we found aliens? Or have we found the truth that the universe itself thinks, echoes, and reaches out across the luminous ether? The stars no longer look back with silence. Now, 
they whisper. They form. They align in patterns of mystery across the unseen design. And maybe, just maybe, this was all waiting for us, not to visit, but to see, to realize, and to look deeper into the cosmic cloak of creation. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.